In this chapter, we'll look more precisely at CSS and how it allows you to control the appearance of your HTML elements. CSS, as we already learned, stands for Cascading Style Sheets. That's a very fancy way of just saying that the code allows you to control the appearance of your content. As you're making a website, you're often going to think that you want the header up top to be black, you want the menu on the side to be pretty small, maybe you want to have some articles that stack vertically on a mobile view, but horizontally on a desktop view, and all of this you'll define in your CSS code. What's important to remember though is that CSS depends on the content that you write in HTML. Without any content, you can't control its appearance. You have to build the house first before you decorate it. That's the metaphor to keep in mind as you're working with HTML and CSS. Let's look at a line of CSS code and break it down. Of course, this syntax is new. You can recognize some elements in here though. H1 refers to a heading tag in HTML as you've already seen. Curly brackets open and close a set of style rules in CSS. Color red sets the CSS color property to red, making the text red. There are hundreds of CSS properties that allow you to finally tune your site's appearance to make it look however you may like. No matter what, you'll select an HTML element and then apply CSS properties to that element. Look at the course text below for some more examples.